All right, hey guys. Um, we made a lot of uh, headway since the last video. Um, right now I'm waiting on the turbo blanket to show up. Amazon's supposed to have that here today. Um, I got the cow panel on. I'm gonna like screw it down in like it was here with some screws. Um, and then that's gonna be finished up. The intake, it's on, okay? Um, now, uh, I'm going to mention a few differences on this one in comparison to the one on my car. First, with this one, this is the newer style one, so it has, I guess, the CNC machine ports here. They're actually a little larger in size. So, for my throttle cable, I actually owed both of these holes up to give my cable bracket more of a tilt down. I don't know if that's partially because of this and partially because this is a 70 mil. Okay, all right. Now we have that taken care of. Now, the, uh, the oil uh, dipstick tube, okay? If you look back there, you can tell I've owed the hole in this way because it hits this tube and forces it that way. And I've also notched the bottom of that, just like I did on mine. <clears throat> but we have a dipstick tube now. Um, the hose seems to fit a little bit nicer. Um, I did bring this further, further forward here. And I'm going to have to modify this cover here. I'm going to be owing these holes here out some. So that this pulls this back instead of forward. Now, also... With this here, the hole that was located here for this sensor, I actually had to come in here with a drill and O the hole out this way on this angle because this hole was not lining up with this to be able to get that position correctly. Now this will line up with this hole, but it wouldn't line up with this hole is what it is. So that and I needed to rotate the uh line here so i broke out a 90 degree i don't know if i'm going to be able to tilt this up and then have the have this come out across the top i'm going to actually try that too uh the way this was before you could tell it was touching the hood just a little bit i do have the filter on i just wanted to see what it looked like i still have to get our tube here painted up and weld this front end. So with that, like I said, I did just finish this. Let's go take a look at my car, which is the older style. It is not the first generation of the JMF boxed intakes, but it's a lot older than this one, pre-CNC. All right. So I believe that maybe this distance here is just a little bit longer. And that's why I was able to, if you look, see how much more distance we have here. We're actually spaced out farther away from the intake here. And if you look here, these are the tubes and they are a little different. So we just come over and we touch here just a little bit. Now, our oil down here, you can look at that and you can tell that there's a major difference down there with the way this goes in just by looking at it. I notched my lower piece down here in front of my finger. I don't know if you can see in there. All right, down in here underneath, I notched that so that it would fit up around. Everything else went on very simply on this intake onto this car. Um, my only thing was my hose. I think that hose touches here more on that car. And then I touch here more, but I need to bring mine forward. I actually have different different brackets and I'm going to try to pull this out. I might have to adjust this here just a little bit to get some clearance on my hose. Oh, and uh, if you tell, mine is not out as far. I do have a 45 here, but the fact that the throttle body kicks this out, I'm better off coming out of that also off the regulator. All right, so that was showing us the major differences. I think a lot of our problem 
is in the 70 millimeter throttle body. This is the first time that I was able to install one of these. Um, I did have to actually take the little lead ball and I did hold it with some needle nose and I ground the edges because it fit really, really tight into our throttle body. So now a little play there, but it seems to be working. Um, I do believe another thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the hardware store. I'm gonna get one of these fittings that I can hopefully find that is a 90 and we'll kick this back because I'm gonna wrap it around and down when I mount my catch cam back over here. I don't know, I think it come out pretty good. I did have to trim a little bit off of this end of the hose. So you can check that out. That's about how much we cut off. But man, it's definitely getting there. All right, I'm gonna check my deliveries. Hopefully that came today. If we can get that on, then we can uh, we can get our coil set down on. All right, look, that's out with shits. The label is right on here. Uh, no box, no nothing. So let's see what this thing looks like. Hold on, opened up. Okay, looks like it was double bag. Hopefully they got some springs in here. That's a no. Wow, come with no springs. How oh, nice. All right, so all I have to do is somehow get this to fit down on there. It's gonna look pretty good. We got the turbo blanket on. It's gonna look pretty good. I still gotta set the springs. I, were, I found them, they were actually in the, in the plastic, but we got the tank drained. And right now we're gonna pop it apart and see if there's anything that we can see right away bad in there so Ooh, it's gummy. Touch it. Ew. Yeah, it's all gummy. Ooh. So it's hard to say what's going on inside there. And that's, like you can tell it gets cold and then... All right, breaking away from the fuel pump for a minute, I still didn't get a chance to disassemble that. So I just kind of wanted to show this here. I actually came in here and I got some of these rewelded. Yes, it's not beautiful but when this metal splits and you try to grind it a little bit um you end up uh having to weld it and then even if even with the welder turned the whole way down it ends up burning through so i went through and i did clean this up really good the whole reason uh pretty much is just to make sure that we are able to support this intercooler even though this is pretty big um i'll probably do some something else but the main reason here we got going on is I wanted to show this off right here. I don't know how it's looking. It's pretty dark, but uh, I mixed up some mixed up some paint, and we have a very nice AGP logo on here now. Very nice, it's subtle on the black because it's a dark color, but that is the logo, man. It's there. So I dug out, so 
some of the factory style bolts or nuts to put on here. I'll lift that side up just a little bit. So I'm going to get these started. Get this thing installed here. Well, here's the fuel pump. Um, just wanted to, like I said, I got to test this thing yet. So we're just going to set it here. Um, I'm going to get my something and I'm going to just try to power each pump to see if each pump is actually turning on independently uh, because they are wired together and see if I can figure out what the issue is there. But we got some updates on this. Um, everything's almost together up front. We got some nice new blue, <laughs> blue Granatelli wires to go on. Um, I started working on getting the pipes assembled. Um, ended up, I guess, getting a kit for a factory setup and one for the JMF intake. Uh, we had to get the older style AGP because I guess it wasn't an option. But we got our tile blow off valve is installed. And uh, we're going to work on getting this installed. We'll have to get that wired in. Um, I'm not going to damage the plug. I'm, I think I have a plug that will work. That way we can just make this a direct plug-in. <clears throat> so, everything is kind of down in here. I will have to measure these and get a coupler to go from there to here so that we can install this. This is installed onto here. I got to clearance the... Here we go. Clearance this ECM bracket right here just a little bit. Um, so that we can get it down on. Uh, I've actually got to look into that a little bit more. It's usually not something that I had problems with, but this thing is still just tweaked a little bit here in the front end. And yeah, that's where we are so far. Test our fuel pump, and I will be running to go get some flex fuel tomorrow so that we can put some in a bucket. And if it works, we can get it everything installed. We can top off our coolant and just go from there. So... I'm going to throw these wires in, um, see how they look. They always come with a little bit of that uh, the electric grease, put a little bit on each end, and then you can get them installed. So we're going to do that, get the coil in. I got to get the wipers on yet also. I don't, I don't, I don't know. This is what it is there. So, man. Oh, and this thing really, really needs a bath. So. All right, so this will work to test this, okay? So here's the outside one. And we have ground. Our positive is going to be the white straight. I'm off in. Okay, so that one is working. Now, it's far too here. Uh, top one will be positive. Bottom will be negative. Nothing. So there's our problem. <clears throat> I'm going to pop this canister apart. Okay. Here we go. Got this one here. This one here. Nothing. Okay. Just so you know, we've got power, man. We've got good power. We just don't have nothing out of this pump. I'll try giving it a tap. Yep. Killed. So we need to get a new pump. Oh my. So every time you turn around, you think something's gonna be easy and yeah <laughs> and you end up spending I don't know an hour 
making the computer sit down in there correctly because you had to modify the bracket and move the bolts over and then trim it down here so that the plugs will fit and then make it fit around the charge pipe but it's in the intercooler is pretty much where it is going to be pretty solid we got everything welded up pretty good i still got to trim these just a little bit to bring this to sit back in some more just amazing how much more room you can get out of that because of these these should be sitting more out toward the center than back this way because it actually pushes everything out that's where it needs to be almost um we got coolant in it and we're waiting on a fuel pump um it is ordered uh the 255 from modern is in and we're waiting so with that being said i'm kind of i guess going to just end this here we're going to do a quick little montage i'm just going to go over some of the stuff that i've fixed up and done and you guys can check it out in this video